Parts of a SpaceX rocket launched in February of 2015 is projected to crash into the dark side of the moon in just four and a half weeks. The Falcon 9 rocket, which lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida on February 11, 2015, took the $340 million Deep Space Climate Observatory Discover into space. Four months later, Discover satellite reached its destination, more than 62,000 miles from Earth, where it continues to send back images daily and track solar storms. We use it all the time on the channel. The idea for the mission was originally conceived by then Vice President Al Gore, of all people. Can you believe that? But space observers have re recently gotten caught up in the ultimate outcome of the Falcon 9 rocket that got Discover into orbit. And that is the second stage is going to crash into the moon. Like a boom. Since the rocket's second stage didn't have enough fuel to return to Earth or escape the Earth-Moon system, it has been following a somewhat chaotic orbit since February 2015. Now, calculations show the rocket part would hit the moon a bit north of the equator within a minute of 7.26 a.m. Eastern Time on March 4th. And this is coming from the, Pluto, the Project Pluto site run by Gray. And he is 100% certain the rocket will hit the moon at this time on March 4th, but added that space junk can be a little tricky. Now, in the coming month, additional observations will help refine the prediction and bring the uncertainty down greatly, according to Gray. The prediction is accurate, and NASA is monitoring the trajectory of the Falcon 9's rocket second stage. According to Karen Fox, NASA's senior science communications officer, she said in a statement, on its current trajectory, the second stage is expected to impact the far side of the moon on March 4th, she said. <laughs> now, NASA's Lunar Recognizance Orbiter, or the LRO, won't be able to monitor the March 4th impact in real time. However, the mission's team is assessing if observations can be made to any changes to the lunar environment associated with the impact and later identify the crater formed by the impact. This unique event presents an exciting research opportunity. NASA hopes to use the orbiter's camera to find the impact site and compare before and after images. The search for the impact crater will be challenging and might take weeks to months, except we have the exact location. Now, the March 4th impact cannot be observed from Earth since it will occur on the far side of the moon here, where the green X is, which apparently NASA is unaware of, but Project Pluto website has an exact location. <laughs> the March 4th impact cannot be observed from Earth because it's on the far side of the moon. Some people call that the dark side of the moon. It's not dark. It's just the far side of the moon. Still, scientists could possibly learn something by later investigating the rocket's impact. Now, the impact is going to be 5, 10 kilometers per second, which pales in comparison to meteorites traveling at 10 to 20 kilometers per second. So this baby will do very little damage to the moon and lots of damage to the second stage itself. This is a rare occurrence. But we have intentionally impacted the moon with rocket upper stages in the past, including the Apollo mission and the NASA LaCrosse mission. But this was on purpose, not accidentally. We've also purposely smashed various spacecraft onto the moon, said Bruce Betts, chief scientist at the Planetary Society and manager of Light Sail Program. To his knowledge, this is the first accidental impact ever. And... Well, what does that mean? Are there any implications? Well, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk might soon have a moon-sized lawsuit on his hands. After astronomers discovered that a derelict SpaceX rocket stage will likely crash into the lunar surface in early March, 
the story spurred a number of interesting questions about the legality of dumping glorified pieces of space trash onto the moon. And that's a moon boom. Now, some legal experts argue the dumping could be grounds to sue Musk and SpaceX, though such a lawsuit likely would never materialize. Theoretically, yes, attorney Stephen Kaufman said. Practically and probably not, however. Of course, the biggest reason why Musk isn't likely to be sued for the stunt is because nobody technically owns the moon. Yet. That said, if the errant SpaceX rocket part crashes into, let's say, China's lunar rover, hello, then he might have a significant legal issue on his hands to the tune of billions of dollars. But the odds of that are very low. According to the Outer Space Treaty of 1966 and the Convention on International Liability for Damage Caused by Space Objects of 1972, countries can make legal claims if their spacecraft are damaged by other countries. In other words, it could theoretically happen. That said, these are uncharted waters. There is simply not a lot of precedent, according to attorney Scott Anderson. Interestingly, there has been one liability claim since the treaties were enacted in 1978. In fact, a Soviet satellite broke up in the skies over Canada and spilled radioactive material into the atmosphere and all over its people. The Canadian government hid the information but was able to set, settle the matter with the Soviet Union for just a meager $3 million after originally billing the country for $6 million. Now, Musk likely won't have to pony up any cash when his rocket crashes into the moon on March 4th. However, Attorney Anderson believes that won't be able to get away with his lunar littering for long. As NASA's Artemis program gains steam, and countries eventually establish outposts on the moon, we'll likely see more regulatory controls on what you can and cannot do on the lunar surface, and there will be heavy fines. Countries involved in the project have signed the Artemis Accord, for instance, which outlines rules to limit space junk. So get your moon littering in while you still can, billionaires, because it's soon coming to an end. And probably not because of littering. Probably because a solar flare is going to perturb the hundreds of thousands of pieces of space, space junk, and they will start to hit each other. And a chaotic cascade will occur. Well, and it will be boom time. Fireworks in the heavens. I hope you got something out of the video. We're going to leave you a link to Project Pluto which is an amazing website that has the exact location of the impact with an X on it. You can click on when and where it will hit the moon, where it will be between now and then, how confident they are it will be predicted, and answer all your questions over at projectpluto.com. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you got something out of the video. I'm sure Elon Musk didn't mean hit the moon with this piece of junk. He's just, well, an entrepreneur doing things that no one else has done. And we applaud him for that. But at some point, this space junk will become a liability. And I hope you have a cave to get to when that happens. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't shared this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you. That's a boom to knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. We'll see you soon with another boom. Mm -hmm.